the reason why you see, before I go on, I say this to you. <laughs> there are three types of education that God we want every human to have. Because let me tell you the truth. Your life is almost useless if you are economically pow powerless on earth. I repeat that. You, you discover, <laughs> and I'll get that, I'll get that. Your life is almost useless if you are economically powerless on earth. But that is not how God wants you to be. That is not where God wants you to be. That is not what God wants you to be. But if three things are involved in your life, three types of education, but a lot of the time people don't know this. And as a matter of fact, earlier in my Christian life, I, I struggle with this. Even though the position of God has been obvious from Genesis chapter 1. By that chapter 2 that we read, that in the Garden of Eden. Why would you be mentioning gold in the Garden of Eden? For what? Everybody, know any, everybody knows everywhere you mention gold. You're talking about wealth. You're talking about economic resources. <laughs> when you mention gold. Anywhere you mention gold, you know you are, that, that's, an, that's a major antidote to failure and poverty. Why would, they be why would God be mentioning that? And let me tell you the truth before I even go further. Anybody that is a child of God, anybody that is in Christ Jesus, is back to the Garden of Eden, however, spiritually. That's the reason why the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3, Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in every places in Christ Jesus. Garden of Eden, you know, was obliterated after man sinned and God asked him out of the garden and the garden disappeared. But from the moment you are in Christ Jesus, you are back in that position. If you have three types of education that you need as a child of God, but more often than not, two of them are emphasized and the other one, because even people who are leading us also or whatever. I struggled with this also earlier in my life. But you see, let me tell you the truth. Nobody can be in a position of serious and sumptuous economic empowerment who does not have this complete education. Number one education is that you need spiritual enlightenment. As a child of God, you need spiritual enlightenment. I even if you are a child of the devil, <laughs> you need spiritual enlightenment. Number two, you need the physical education, which is the development of your soul. Everybody needs that. We discover that they have better life that obtain good education than those who do not. And number three, you need economic learning, early on time. <laughs> That's why you see, we have a number of people that when you hear them, see, you know, all of you were, all of you, all of us were disappointed in, in Teofilo Sunday. A very balanced person, but we never knew it was balanced. Spiritual learning that is void of Normal physical education will have some little trouble. Some little trouble. Spiritual learning that is void of economic learning will have a major, major problem. Major, major problem. And that is where the problem of many Christians, that's where their problem lies. That's why Jesus said in Luke chapter 16, that the children of this world in their generation are wiser than the children of light. All of us will believe that this guy will just say, take this word, 
away from me. <laughs> and I'm okay. Take microphone, take whatever. If God took microphone and took the crowd, how are we going to know it? How are we going to know that Tevilo Sunday existed? And as he was there now, the pillows. <laughs> All of, all of the sisters, Jim Jim sister, with spiritual education, as a matter of fact, when some sisters are speaking tongues, when they are speaking tongues, you know that they are learned in the spirit realm. Because these tongues are from. You will hear like who are. You will even say, <laughs> they can interpret any tongues. Tifa, Tifa. They say, wait a moment, everybody, that's a TV. <laughs> because all I'm hearing in the spirit is Tifa, Tifa. Jesus told the children of Israel, he said, when it comes to learning about, you know, different kind of weathers and what it will have impact on people physically, he said, you had great understanding. When it is dark in the night, you know what will be in the morning. He said, but you don't have spiritual understanding. So you see, a child of God has to be balanced in these three aspects. You need three learnings. Spiritual learning, educational learning, which is the normal education will obtain. You need it. But you will discover that a lot of people who are academically sound are economically zero a lot of the times. But with all this, you need economic learning. And this will bring me to where I'm going today. Don't forget, humans who are not going to heaven, only economic learning and, and educational learning, they are more than enough for them. All right? Spiritual learning, you cannot put it aside. As a matter of fact, I say, without spiritual learning, you cannot be balanced in the, in the realm of other learnings. You can't. But you will discover that humans, humans, if you want to really fulfill the plan and the purpose of God, if you want God to use you, humans find it easier to relate with the projections the resultant effect of economic learning than even spiritual one. Now, we have a church not very far from where we are. When anybody lives here or whatever, that is the church they find easy to go to because they are economically balanced. They source money from the United States of America. You don't have to pay that. You don't have to give everything. Everything is there. Yes, the only thing is that I've discovered more often than not, many of the people that have left here, after some time of this physical whatever, they lost their faith. They just begin to stay in the house because you see, you need spiritual learning to battle certain stuff. But ladies and gentlemen, spiritual learning is not enough, except immediately you die. I mean, immediately you get born again, you're on your way to heaven. And don't let it be more than one week. Please, I beg you. Just go. But if you're going to be in this life, if you're going to, and I'm going to show you something, if you're going to have wife, you're going to have children, even if you're not going to have wife, if you're not going to have children, even if it's just that you have parents, you need economic learning. Otherwise, you will not only be useless to God, you will frustrate the plan and the purpose of God for your life. I, I choose these words very carefully. I choose these words very carefully. Without economic learning, you know, you will not just, you know, be useless. Yeah, no, you will frustrate the agenda, the plan, and the purposes of God. Now, in every dealing of God, there are economic values. In every word, in everything God is 